Hey, good morning, friends. It's Julie Hamilton here with Life Builders, bringing you simple tips to build a strong and healthy life on. I hope you are doing great today. You are almost to the weekend. It is Thursday, so I hope you've had a great week. And are you have, do you have anything fun planned this weekend? Let me know. Send me in the notes, comments. Let me know if you have something fun going on this weekend. I want to hear about it. And you go and say hi so I can see you. All right, today, I'm sorry, I just ate a big handful of blueberries, so I'm trying to make sure I don't have blueberries in my teeth. That's the deal. That's why my mouth is looking very funny right now, because I keep going like that. But anyway, um, today we are talking about, are you a goldfish or a shark? And how do you know? We're going to be talking about that. Um, if you're on, say hi to me so I can see who's on. And uh, have you ever had that moment where you saw something ordinary and then all of a sudden you realized like there was something extraordinary about it? Maybe, you know, you see a flower and you realize, wow, you know, it's amazing how many different flowers we have on our street or our world or whatever. But our friends Tom and Eliana, uh, this is a long time ago, they had gone to an aquarium. And they came back. Oh, hey, what's up, Rose? Good to see ya. Good morning, Jamie. So they had gone to this aquarium and they came back and I remember our friend Tom. Something hit him. He was so struck. They had seen a great white shark. And you know how you can see something, you know, just all the time, you're not impressed by it, and then you see something interesting about it and then you're like awestruck well that's what happened I remember Tom and Eliana came back from the aquarium and Tom was like not enamored but in awe of this shark and the point that he saw about it this time when he saw the shark was that it just swam and it didn't apologize for what it was supposed to be doing it was just this beast that it was just comfortable in its own skin it wasn't apologizing for being aggressive or apologizing for whatever it was just doing its thing and walking in all the stateliness that that that, that comes with that like I picture that kind of like you see like a, a lion or a rooster they're just like doing their thing and they don't apologize for it. They don't shrink down to be what someone else wants them to be because whatever they are is too much. And so that's what he was impressed with this shark that it just, it was, it just was what it was. And there was no holding back and no, um, no shrinking back, no apologies for just being all that you're supposed to be. And I was thinking of that because I was, re I'm reading this, the, the book called Positive of, uh, I mean, Power of Potus, Pot you know that one? Power of Positive Leadership. And it's by um, John Gordon. And he talks in there about, are you a shark or a goldfish? Now here's the difference between the shark and the goldfish. The goldfish is waiting around for some sprinkles. The goldfish is waiting around for somebody to come along and feed it. It's not doing anything on its own. But then you look at the shark, and the shark is in constant motion. The shark is constantly hunting, constantly pressing. Not that we have to be like this super aggressive hunter that we're always like hustle, 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 hustle. That's not it. No, I'm not saying that at all. But the shark has this never ending motion that is always looking for opportunity, always looking for the food, and, um, that's the amazing thing about sharks is they're just always moving. It reminded me of Tony Robbins. He says he has this concept called can I? And can I is constant and never ending improvement. And you think about it and you think, you know what? This could apply to all of our lives every day, every area of our lives. Talk about this. Let's talk about our spiritual life. Are we being a goldfish and waiting for a few sprinkles on a Sunday every week? Or are we being the shark and are we in the word, reading our Bible, we are developing the spiritual side of ourselves, are we taking the initiative to read books or listen to tapes or watch videos, tapes, <laughs> listen to podcasts, watch videos that are growing us. That's the difference between the shark looking, always moving, always improving, always pressing in and the goldfish waiting for a few sprinkles of the word. Here you go, here's your Sunday sprinkle. I'm gonna go and do my do my um, week and then I'll come back next Sunday and I'll get my little sprinkle. That's a goldfish, you guys. Don't be the goldfish. 
let's talk about your physical body. What about our physical bodies? Are we that person that is pressing in to take care of our bodies? Where and we're just not just waiting for someone to tell us, hey, you need to go on this diet to not eat sugar or whatever. But are we taking care of our bodies? Are we exercising? Are we looking for nutrition? Are we sacrificing things that we love because we know that we're gonna keep our bodies healthy, right? Or let's talk about emotions. The goldfish, you're waiting for a sprinkle of approval from somebody and that gets you through your day. Whoo, whoa, man, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I am feeling the chills. You're waiting for someone to just give you a word that, that justifies and verifies who you are. That's the goldfish. And maybe it's from somebody that doesn't treat you nice all the rest of the time, but you get that one sprinkle from them and you're content. But let's look at the shark. The shark is looking for that emotional healing. The shark is looking for that, um, that, that breakthrough. They're looking for, to be free. They're looking to forgive. They're looking for opportunities to just let their emotional self be healed and to find confidence. They're looking for new opportunities to challenge themselves. That's the shark. That's the can I, that's the constant and never ending improvement versus the sprinkle of the goldfish just waiting for the approval so that you can make it to the next week. So I just encourage you today, and again, like I said, being the shark is not about hustle, 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 because I don't think that's, you know, I don't think that's healthy either. What it's about is pressing forward, pressing in, looking for the opportunities, keeping moving, constant improvement, not just waiting for a sprinkle of something to happen for somebody else to give you a sprinkle and then you can make it the next week, the next month, the next year. So in all of your areas of your life, guys, I, I encourage you to become the shark. Don't apologize for who God's made you to be. Just be it. Be confident in who you are. Be confident in who you're called to be. Be constantly improving. And if you can say, I gave one more percent today than I gave yesterday, you got it. You're a goldfish in pursuit of a shark's life. Come on, Jamie. I love that. That is awesome. And, you know, I would love to hear from you. I would love to you write in the comments how you're doing that. Um, you know, how can we do that? We can do that by listening. We can do it by reading. We can do it by, oh, I'm a shark for sure. <laughs> I love it, Roxanne. So um, we can do it by just reaching out and trying new things. We can do that for by looking to forgive, looking to stretch ourselves in our emotional, spiritual physical lives and looking for that improvement. So, oh, thank you for the hearts. I love you. <laughs> That's a lot of hearts. Thanks. Oh, I love it. You guys are awesome. So if you're in town, come to Propel tonight. If you're not, I love you still. Oh, thank you for all the hearts. It's like a heart shower. It's like a fireworks show. <laughs> I love you guys. May your minds be fierce and your hearts very strong and your spirit very kind. And the fireworks show is still going. Yeah, you guys are awesome. I love it. Love you. Bye.